Hi, welcome to Scotland and Ben Nevis. Today we are climbing that thing. You can't see the top of it. You can only see about half, well, not even half of it. <laughs> Visibility today is 0.1 kilometres. Yes, about 100 metres. <laughs> so we might as well just stay home and take a video of a white wall. Yeah, but that's not the point, is it? <laughs> Britain's tallest mountain. Um, and it's more challenging than most other climbs in Britain. Partly because you start pretty much at sea level. Yeah. So you're literally climbing the entire thing. We've been planning this for a couple of years, several years. Yeah. We did plan to do it in uh, well, April 2020, sort of, but then of course COVID hit, we couldn't. So we just had a short walk from our little guest house, just 15 minutes down the road, and now we're at the uh, outside the visitor centre. And it's going to take between six and eight hours, depending on how fit we are. I'm not very fit and I'm feeling very sad. Not sad, but like today. So we'll see. The route we're taking today is called the mountain track and is the easiest route available. Although easy is a relative term because it's not easy at all. From the start at the visitor center and car park, this trail zigzags up the mountain for around 5 miles to an elevation of 4,413 feet or 1,345 metres. It's going to be challenging. It says the weather, they have a weather station upstairs. 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 <laughs> That's a lot of stairs to climb up. Yeah. Yes. They have a weather station at the top but it says it's going to be minus, feels like minus one. Minus three top. I think it says. Well, by the time we get there, it'll be minus three, but at the moment, it's minus one. So it's going to get colder as the day goes on. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and to, uh, like later, it gets to like minus six. Mm -hmm. It's about 10 degrees currently at the base, which That's is fine. I don't have my big jacket on because I was getting warm just walking the last <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, I think we should get going before we get too late. It's yes. already 8.30, 8 which is quite late to start climbing a mountain, really. Yes, it is. So let's get going. Let's go. Yeah, I'll be filming quite a lot of this from this uh, shoulder mounted GoPro. So at the moment my cameras are filming each other. Look <laughs> we'll out your way. Oh, way. <laughs> I feel like you guys are going to be way faster than us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The trail starts easy enough with only a slight uphill track through the picturesque countryside on a levelled path. Morning. 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 Alright. Yeah, hopefully this ties him out. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, well, I don't think there's any chance of that not happening. Yeah. <laughs> Is more energetic than anyone else we've seen today. That's because he's got four legs and he's fit and healthy. And we'll that. Yeah, and we've got two legs and we had a fry up for breakfast. Yeah. We didn't have a champ. No. <laughs> pedigree chum or whatever gives him the energy. <laughs> the views at this low level were already awesome. Although it would have been better if the weather was a bit nicer. I feel like we're in the bottom of the cloud right now. Yeah. We're not even at high up. But you know what? It's actually quite refreshing. Yeah. You still have your big jacket on, like even without it. I mean, under here, my skin is cold. Skin is cold. But most of it. I'm fine, especially my legs. Yeah. Told ya. <laughs> He was like, well, I don't know about like fluffy tights, tights? leggings, leggings. I don't know about fluffy leggings. Oh, I like you'll be fine. Guess what? He's fine. I can recommend leggings on Clamour Mountain. I mean, it's based on just on the foothill. <laughs> <laughs> like a ten minute hike, and you're like yeah. leggings for the win. As we continued our ascent, the scenery started to get even more spectacular. Hello. And we met a new buddy. Oh, you're a cutie. This is this Australian Shepherd. Got some in there. But shortly after, the path started getting a little trickier. Oh, there's 
the bridge. That's the first sign of like civilization on the entire trail, <laughs> other than the uh, leveled gas. Yes. <laughs> Which is clearly being charged by people, and not by sheep. And yes, I say sheep. <laughs> OMG, turn around. <laughs> Of all your thingies and us, and the occasional sheep. And the occasional other people's. Yeah, but they're very occasional. Everyone's really friendly, saying Everyone's good morning friendly. or thank you for letting us pass you, slow people. <laughs> we are slow. Not gonna lie, we're slow. But you know, what just wins the race? Well, don't always believe fairy tales. <laughs> Sometimes your prince. Turns out to be a rapist. That turned dark very quickly. <laughs> wow. Good morning. Good morning. All the way to the top already? Yeah. How? It's nine o'clock and some people are on the way down already. We've barely started. We've had a lot of people on their way down. Maybe we should have got up sooner. <laughs> it's getting a bit uh, rougher now. It's like less manicured, shall we say. Also, I'm grateful for the guys who make the steps. Because they're actually regular size and not for giants. So thank you, whoever cut out the steps. <laughs> On a clear day, that would be a beautiful view. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fine. I know you're fine. Yeah, I know you're fine. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's halfway, it's halfway. It's just up there. It's starting to get quite cold and wet. <laughs> We're now like in the cloud. This isn't rain, this is cloud. Alright, so I had to zip myself up because I'm quite attached to side of my face. So I want to be able to feel it. <laughs> That's ready. Who needs the side of your face? You were like, why are we bringing tea? It's heavy. And I was like, tea. And now you get it, right? It's warm. It's warm. It's tasty. Well, it's warm in my inside. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, should we find out how far we are? In terms of vertical height anyway. 2100. We're just shy of halfway. What was it? 4400? So yeah. As you can see, views for days. As you can see, we can't. <laughs> oh god. Alrighty. Hey, just. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. Oh, you were to sit on these rocks over here, maybe. It's so sheltered over there. Yeah. Time. Well, we're about halfway, and um, we've had a little sheltered spot for a spot of lunch. That last uh, half an hour or so was hectic with all the wind and the rain. Hectic is a fan word, and I've got Jay saying now, 
hectic, baby. I mean, it's just like covered in crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> So this is exactly what you need to buy when you come to Fort William, Scotland. Echo's Cakes. Something that originated from sort of the Manchester-ish area. <laughs> I'm feeling alright in terms of ability to do this. My legs are getting tired. Not sore, just... <laughs> that I have a so, raisin on me. I can't take you seriously when you're covered in crumbs. Oh. Alright, should we get going? We don't want to stop for too long, do we? Okay, this camera's going back in the bag because it's not waterproof. So that's why we've been using the GoPros for a lot. <laughs> so I apologise for the sound, it's a bit crap. It's probably a bit crap anyway. <laughs> I gotta say though, this bag is very good. Of all the things that could be cold, it's not my legs is not one of them. Clean the skin off. After this point, I started to struggle a little bit. I think it's the relentless, slight incline that just goes on and on for miles, and I'm not used to that. How are you? I'm still sad. Well, let's keep moving. Don't stop moving. I can have a song for you. After another half hour passed with Jay bouncing ahead of me and then waiting patiently. It's taken much longer than even I thought it would. Or not so patiently. We had to make a decision on what to do next. Questioning if you're still all right. I'm just taking my time. But now I'm wondering if we actually have the time to do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering what to do. Yeah. about 2,800 feet. The summit's about 44. It's taken us a long time to get here. <laughs> Way longer than I was anticipating us taking to get here. To be honest, my little legs just can't handle it. Um, I have suggested to Jay that he just runs up because he's one of those annoying athletic people that can do that. I have water, I have tea, I have a warming blanket, I have food for days. Got extra clothing, like you know, I'm good. I think I'm just gonna carry on at my pace, which means I don't have to worry about Jay waiting for me every 10 meters, and then you just go ahead. So, you think I should just carry on? I think it's just get to the top and then come down and meet you, yeah. And when we meet, we just head down, yeah. Let's do that. It wasn't the plan, I know it wasn't the plan, but I do want to get to the top. I feel like you need to get to the top. At this point, I'm so tired that I could, like, if I get to the top or not, whatever, we've got this far. We've climbed a mountain for hours. I think we should do that. I'm going to carry on. I think that's good. Um, you got phone signal and battery, yeah? Yeah. Don't waste it, because just in case we need to contact each other. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the beginning of every horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Just go without me. <laughs> See you later.
Okay, so from this point onwards, I pretty much forgot I was filming a vlog. I barely said anything, so I'll have to do it in narration instead. I think I was more focused about getting to the top than in making a video. I did feel bad about leaving a friend behind. It's far safer to travel in a group than solo. But there were a lot of people on the mountain today, and so if either of us got into trouble, there would be someone along shortly to help us out. break because it's chillos. Also it's been three minutes and I haven't seen a single person. It's lovely. Pity I don't have much of a view. I've got to say I'm really glad Jay left me um, only because he was getting kind of annoying waiting for me all the time. This way I can take my time, do my own thing, it's all good and he can just run up like a like a bunny and I'll just take it nice and slow with my little legs. The terrain was starting to get a lot tougher from here. There were lots of rocks to clamber over and all sign of plant life was gone aside for some moss growing on the boulders. As I approached the summit, the path was becoming more and more vague. Where it had previously been obvious where it was, it was now more difficult to determine what the safe path was. My only clue was these large rock piles known as cairns every 100 metres or so, which I took to mean that this was the way. Thankfully I was actually able to see the next one through the thick cloud cover. My GoPro also died on me before I reached the top. The last shot it captured was of this dog, which we saw at the base of the mountain as well. Finally, after about 5 hours of hiking, I made it to the top. Just walked on the lens, sorry about that. But I'm here. Okay. I'm off a little bit. No, I can't be asked. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Made it. This wasn't like this until literally just now. It's a little like hut slash weather station over there. I'm gonna go in there. A little snack. Sip of tea. Sorry, no room in the end. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming in anyway. <laughs> oh. How long did that take you guys? Uh, 10, oh. past, was it 10 past 9 or 10 to 9? 10 to 9 10 to 9 yourself. Uh, but we had another ladder. So we were stopping, I think we stopped for about an hour in total. And then he turned uh, back and went back anyway. Yeah, I left my wife down there somewhere as well. I did. <laughs> Where are all these rocks? God. The cliff has turned so freezing cold now. Relaxed enough to go down, or rested enough, shall we say, not relaxed, rested. I'm tired and cold. I'll see you down the bottom. It opened up a bit, and now it looks beautiful. Uh, 
and now it's gone. <laughs> Just like that, you get 20 seconds of view. Oh. And after what seemed like a lifetime apart, we were finally reunited. Also, my shoes are swimming. Yeah, mine too. Oh. I've literally got a swimming pool yeah, in yeah, my foot. Yeah. Foot, feet, feet. <laughs> my shoes. Oh, baby, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad you went up. I'm glad I made it. I was like, oh my god, I'm finally up the top. I got tired to the point where I was like, oh, I've got to get turned back. And I was like, I looked at my thing and I was like, you've got 300 feet left. Oh, like, well, then you have to I do it. I have to do it. We've yeah. only 300 feet. I can't turn back now. We finally made it down. That was exhausting. It was longer than I anticipated. Even though everybody said it was going to take long. I was like, nah. Yeah, what was it, it about? Exaggerating. Half four, five-ish, something like that. I haven't really looked at the clock for a while. So that was close to nine hours. Oh God, we're like worse than the worse than the estimates. <laughs> so tired. I need a hot cup of tea. A hot shower. A pizza. 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 Oh, yeah. Cut to the pizza. So we're supposed to be filming our um, pizza dinner. Um, we forgot. <laughs> Oops. The pizza was just so yummy. And we got mac and cheese. And then we also got some wings. I'm exhausted. But at least I'm dry now and warm. That's cute things. I didn't realise how cold and wet I was until we got out of our clothes. I'm like, they, they kind of went splat on the bottom floor. <laughs> it was a long day. Do you know what my phone says? How far we And this is me, right? I didn't even go to the top. 231 floors, 34,410 steps, 34,410. That's like three days worth in one go. Thanks for watching again. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff that you're supposed to say on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you for another adventure soon.